Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. Welcome back to my channel. On today's lecture, we'll be looking at Nkeji Asusu Ibo. That's past of speech. And you know, for the past days that we've been looking at this Nkeji Asusu. So today we are going to pick the adjectives. Nkowa Aha. Adjectives. As we all know, in English language, they say that an adjective is a word that it is that is used to modify or describe a noun or a pronoun as to give it extra information, you know. So in Igbo language, it describes, it gives more information to the noun. You get this adjective we are talking about in Igbo language, there are many types and, and examples of this adjective. But today, let's say we are emphasizing on this adjective. It has two formations or it has two forms. Emwere uza bo adjective nkowa ha na roro. Emwere nkowa ha nkenebu aha uza abia. It precedes the noun like onebu so onebu aha uza abia. An adjective that comes before the noun and the adjective that comes after the noun. Whether it comes before the noun or it comes after the noun, we know that it helps in passing information. It helps in bringing out more details. It helps in bringing out so many things out from the noun. It extracts. It brings out. Okay, this adjective you're talking about, in English language, I saw something. They said that we have the comparative and the superlative here yeah, in Igbo language. And when you're talking about this comparative, it uses two, like it, it extracts two Object, uh, objective. Yes, two objects. Sorry, it abstracts two objects, two humans, two elements. Why the superlative adjective extracts three objects, three humans, three whatever, whatever. In Igbo language, the comparative adjective we know is the ka ka mma. Why the superlative we have is kachase kachase mma. Now let's say, um, let's look at some of the adjective that comes before the noun. For example, we have ogologo. We all know that ogologo is an adjective because you can use the ogologo to pass the information, to give more details to what the noun that comes after it is telling. Okay, let's say ogologo moke, a tall man. Oh, go, lo, go, okay. Pay attention to this film to get what I'm talking about more. Oh, go, lo, go, okay. That's oh, go, lo, go comes before the okay. And the okay there is the now. We also have mm, 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 why? a short man. Okay, this mm, 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 is an adjective. It comes before the now. We, we have numerous of them. We have them plenty. We have the many. Ajo, ajo, why? A bad woman. Ajo, it comes before the noun. Why? We have so many things. Then when you're talking about the adjective that comes after the noun, you have something like, um, now when you are talking about the adjective that comes after the noun, that is where you see something like, why marama? Why is the now? Marama is the adjective. The marama comes after the now. You have aqua og, aqua og, aqua. There is the now. Why the og there is the adjective? We have more called jaw. You know we have so many more called jaw. Bad hearts, bad. Okay. Moke ojo. The moke is the noun. Why the ojo is the adjective. These are some of the examples we have in the Igbo adjective. Quickly before I summarize, remember that I said that Aha. 
iwe pota mobu eko wo fuma ihe ihe aha hu ne ku maka it helps it describes it modifies it explains it extracts it gives more strength it enlightens it oh god it helps the now this is where we'll be stopping our lecture for today on our next lecture we'll be looking into the advert stay tuned follow subscribe and like see you i love you bye